And it's on how you doing? So um, my favorite brush right now is the Dashboard Beauty number 12 brush. And we actually have a code, so check down in the description box. But um, these brushes do not come pinched. As you see, you see the little pinch mark that I made there? I am pinching them myself. So if you want to know how to pinch your brush, it is very simple, very helpful, uh, especially when your brush does not come pinched. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I achieve this pinched look. So these Dashboard Beauty brushes are available in a size 12 only currently. Um, but to me, girl, that's all you need. It is precise. You can hold more monomer if you need to. You can drain more monomer if you need to. Um, it has a nice handle. Um, feels good in the hand. So your number 12 Kalinsky brush from Dashboard Beauty will come like this, packaged like this, and shaped like this. When you receive your brush, you will feel something in there. It is called packing, I don't know if it's packing powder, packing glue, but there's something in there. You definitely will have to clean that out. Can you see that? You don't want that mixed in your monomer and your acrylic. Clean your brush, you would just um, put a little tiny bit of monomer in your dabbing dish and swash it around a bit. You know how you flatten it like that. Clean your brush and then you shape your brush. Pinch it between your fingers. Now, if you like your brush this shape, it's kind of an oval shape, um, then feel free to leave your brush like this. I personally prefer my brushes to be like this, and I like to pick up a bead on the flat side of the belly. Um, and I feel like the shape of this really gets into that cuticle area. So I am going to pinch my brush. I'm going to feel for where the hair is kind of flattened out the best. If you take your fingers and lightly pinch them between your fingers, you might be able to feel where the hair is sort of line up into each other best. I feel like this is a good shape. I can feel where the hairs are nice and straight. So I'm going to pinch my brush right here. And to do that, I have a pinching tool. You may have this tool. It comes with the, um, like the rings piercings. When you buy piercings or jewelry from Amazon jewelry making kits, they have a sort of pincher. It is not a wire cutter, similar to pliers. And, um, again, hold on. Let me feel I always feel like I can just feel the best place to pinch. Can you see, let me see if I can show you. Can you see how they're making that oval round shape this way? So when I'm doing this, I can feel the hairs settling into place. See this way, it's shaped different. It would. It seems like this is the side and this is a flatter side, right? So that's the side I'm gonna pinch on. So I'm gonna take my tool, I'm gonna grab it by the neck and I'm gonna pinch on this side and I'm gonna pinch on this side. And that's it, not too much. And that's it, now my brush is pinched and as I clean her and use her, I will always just pinch her in this direction, in this shape. And eventually, she will be shaped like this, which to me is a good workable shape for me. See that? Yes, honey. So that's how you pinch your brush. Bye.